Traders, we've got such an important video for you today because we are going up to our indicators, metrics, and strategies menu. We're clicking to open that menu. We're going to technicals and we are focusing on profiles. That's right, all of the profiles available to you. Now, this is going to be fairly advanced, but it's very important for anyone with a TradingView plan to master these tools because of the insights you can gain into trading volume and price. Now, today's video is going to be focusing on the visible range volume profile. And our entire volume profile series covers all of these different tools. Go find videos for each specific topic to learn something new. Now, we're gonna, we are gonna go ahead and click visible range volume profile. And as you can see here, we've got these volume profiles showing right here on our chart. They happen to be on the right side of the chart next to the price of the specific symbol we're looking at, which in this case is Apple. We can see that all right up here at the top left. Now, the key thing to know about volume profiles to cut right to the chase is that these bars here are telling us how much volume was traded at each price point. So what's really important about this is you probably are familiar with traditional volume. And traditional volume tells you how much volume was traded at each point in time. We've got this daily chart. We can see this large candle. Here's how much trading volume occurred on this day. There's the candle or the bar, we should say. This, this volume bar shows us how much volume occurred. But in this example, we are not looking at trading volume by each day or any time interval we select from this list. We're actually looking at trading volume by price. So let's remove the volume indicator, which is by day or any time interval we choose. And just look at these volume bars. Now, these volume bars are a part of the visible range volume profile. You can see that here, VRVP, visible range volume profile. This volume profile is one of my favorites personally, simply because, keep in mind, technicals, profiles, visible range volume profile, because it dynamically and automatically adjusts depending on the view or the starting point of your chart. So I'm gonna zoom out and watch how quickly it adjusts. Just like that, it adjusts. I'm gonna zoom in and watch it adjust. So what is it doing? How is it finding all of this trading volume at each price level? I'm gonna zoom out and just reformat my chart here. It's also going to automatically update again. But the way it's updating, you should know, is that the TradingView platform is effectively looking at the starting point here, because this is the starting point of our chart. The bar that goes furthest to our visible eye, this is why it's called the visible range volume profile, is the starting point. The ending point is the trading action that you're looking at right now, so that's gonna be the most recent candle. Now we've got all of this data between these two points, all this trading action. And this trading action is now being filtered down to show us how much volume occurred at these price levels from this starting point and this ending point. So from this starting point here to this ending point here, we immediately know the most trading volume has occurred at about $226 per share or so. We can see that. And we can see that clearly because we've got this purple and teal bar here combining to make one enormous bar. And we've even got this white line cutting through that's called the point of control. The point of control, the white line here, specifically tells us that this price level is where the most trading volume occurred at this price over this time frame. Now, when you double click on your visible range volume profile, well, this is where things get really exciting because you've got your inputs, your style, and your visibility. Now, you're all already familiar with visibility. This effectively is your time to decide when you want this indicator to appear. So if I uncheck days, well, it's gonna not be shown anymore because I'm on a daily chart. So I want this to be shown on every time interval, every chart type, so I've got everything right here checked. But let's go to style now. Style is where you can really dive in and customize your specific charts. For example here, we've got our volume profile, we've got our values, we've got our width percentage of box placement, and now what we want to focus on the ability to color these specific boxes. Now, the key thing you have to know is that these two different colors still show trading volume, but you can see here that this color shows down volume and this color shows up volume. In addition, you can see they are lightly shaded different colors depending on where they fall outside of this volume profile. 
So the areas down here are going to be shaded a little lighter than the share areas up here because it's just sort of further down the price range. It's not as much volume. It's not the significant portion. So it's by default, a little, you know, uh, faded out, you could say. And that's to draw your attention to these highly specific areas up here that are brightly colored and showing to you very clearly. So we've got our up volume here, value area up here. So up volume and value area up mean the same thing. They're just two different shaded regions on the chart. What we mean by mean the same thing is up volume. That means the trade for that specific volume to occur went upward. Say it went from $232 to $233, that's up volume. If it went from $232 to $231, that's down volume. And you get to color that specific volume. But also keep in mind, and this might really help you understand here in this regard, that you don't necessarily have to have two separate colors. In fact, sometimes people quite literally prefer to just look at total and that just makes it all one color. Now this should make total sense to you. Here's how much trading volume occurred at this price. No up volume, no down volume, just show it to me in one color. So now you're probably starting to formulate how this works exactly. Well, it all starts from understanding that you have the capability to customize this tool to your exact likings. So as you can see here, once again, we zoom out, automatically adjusts. The new point of control where the volume is occurring is now at about $171. So this is a fantastic tool because of the way you can breeze through charts and see it update in real time. We go Apple to Netflix. It's updated immediately like so we go to google it's updated immediately like so we can even go to cryptocurrencies like btc usd it's updated like so we could also as we wish go to forex to see that as well it works across all asset classes and symbols and where the visible range volume profile is particularly powerful is just in the fact that as you are looking at charts doing your research maybe going through your watch list you can zoom out and it will dynamically adapt or you can even zoom in and it will adapt as well because remember you are creating a new starting point each time you zoom out or zoom in and it's factoring in the data from the starting point to the most recent trade and then showing you where the most volume happened according to each specific price point within that time frame now going back to the chart settings it's very important to walk you through now each of these settings you've got rows layouts so you can look at the number of rows or ticks this depends on how you want how precisely you want to see the data the tick means a transaction occurred if you're selecting number of rows well you guessed it what you're doing now is you're defining a set number of rows in this case it says 24. maybe we want to break this up more granular let's put 100. we want to see 100 rows well it's going to get smaller more granular more defined the choice is ultimately yours by default it's set to 24 in each row here of volume defines a specific area as already mentioned you then have the ability to decide if you want to see up and down volume just total or one of the newer features which is really helpful delta delta is just what it sounds like ladies and gentlemen you are subtracting the up volume from the down volume and getting these truly beautiful images that show you whether there was more up volume or down volume depending on what you can see more of it is a subtraction event and what's really nice for these delta charts well you guessed it we can go to style and check values and we can see the volume values right there to really have this beautifully shown to us now we're going to go back to the default up down and we can still see the values but now you can see it reads a little differently because it's not a delta value which is subtracting up volume from down volume it's actually showing us up and down volume you have to look closely to see it but it's right there in front of you and by the way if we just go to total volume you guessed it we're just looking at total volume numbers so you really have just an almost endless stream and supply of capabilities to customize this tool now we want to go over the width or percentage of the box which is sent to 30. Well, if we set this to 50, you can see the bars go out further. It's important to know that that's all this is. How far do you want your volume profiles to go out on your chart? Now, as a great example, you may very well have, for example, 
charts or a smaller screen where you like to be rather zoomed in and maybe you like to use up most of your chart space. Well, in that case, you might want to double click, maybe type five here and make it small so that it's always just taking up a small percentage of your total chart size. So you have that ability as well. Placement, just what it sounds like. And go test this out. You can learn it in real time. We've got the left and we've got the right. Once again, up volume, down volume, value area up, value area down. Now it is time for us to dive into the value areas as well. So let's go back to the default setting. Let's do up, down. We got 24, 70. Let's get rid of values. We're back to where we started. And actually, we're going to change this to 30 to make it take up more of the chart as well. Now, it's very important to understand up volume is the same thing as value area up, down volume, same as value area down. They're just colored differently based on where they are on this volume profile. So up volume here is simply the areas that fall outside of your value area. The value area up and value area down are the more brightly, clearly colored areas. So where is this number being defined? Well, in the input section, you see here it says value area volume, 70. Think of this as a percentage-based charting technique. I want to see the most densely colored place encapsulate 70% of all trading volume. Well, we know from looking at this chart very quickly that 70% of all trading volume has occurred in these regions. Look at the difference in the color. It's darker here. It's lighter and more sort of faded down here. You get to define this. By the way, if you don't like this feature, simply change it to 100 and now every bar is fully colored because every volume bar in this example now falls within the value area. So we double click, we go to style, look at your value area up, and value area down. This is a really fantastic thing to know because not only do you want to know exactly what these bars are saying, but you also, without question, want to ensure that you know why they're faded or lightly colored or more brightly colored, and now you know. All right, let's talk about the value area high or the value area low. That's quite simple, actually. The value area high and value area low are going to mark the points at which your defined value area starts and ends. Let's go back to 70, which is by default. You're going to see these have changed quickly just like that. And actually, these lines now clearly divide the difference between the more brightly colored areas and the sort of faded areas. Here's our value area high. Here's our value area low. In between these two points is 70% of all of our value area volume. Really, really analytical and rigorous research that you could do with these tools to create a chart exactly for your needs. And by the way, some traders might simply use these value areas as their range. They may not even draw on the chart. They just want to be in the zone where the trading action is, where all the volume is, where the buyers and sellers clearly are based off of their chart their visible range. In this case, now it's this starting point and this ending point. But let's go even deeper because we need to go into this indicator settings and really make sure we get a clear visual going here. Your point of control, your developing point of control, your developing value area as well. You have the ability to check each of these items. If we uncheck point of control, which by now you already know, that is this line right here going through the area with the most trading volume, where now it's going to disappear and we're going to focus on developing point of control and developing value area. These are such cool features because they're going to show you how it's developed over time. That's right. So if we look at the developing point of control, oh, sorry, let's look at the point of control. What we're looking at is the point of control at this very moment. If we look at the developing point of control. We can see how it's changed over time since our starting point up to our most recent point. In fact, not at, you know, not long ago, the point of control was really all at one, looks like about 101, 102. There was an event here, looks like earnings, that suddenly made this point right here the point of control then from that point onward effectively. And if we even click point of control to see the most current region, look at that, it is still the most current point of control. If we double click here, we've got developing value area. Ladies and gentlemen, that is just what it sounds like. Recall we showed you value area high, value area low. It's the two points that separate the shaded regions. Let's just sort of zoom out here to make this more clear. 
give it a second. There it is. We can see these two points developing over time with this developing value area high and low. And it is simply just dividing up that value area that you define in the inputs section. If we go to style, well, ladies and gentlemen, now this is where things get really good because we can do a lot more such as customize where we want the labels on price scale or in the status line. And as you know, this is your status line right here. Your price scale is going to be over here and you can see them disappear right here. Then we have the value, the volume range volume profile selected. So it's a little hard to see, but just watch these numbers. They disappear. Now they appear. You have this capability. So what we've just done is we've just walked you through the visible range volume profile, how it works, why it's so fantastic, all of the advanced features, and how to get started. Our goal here is just to get you introduced to the tool because in a future video, we are going to show you real training examples, strategies you can think about, and actually walk you through what it means to have access to this tool so that you can potentially use it to trade, further your research, do deep dives, and a whole lot more because this tool can be invaluable to your research process, the way you move through charts, the way you zoom out, zoom in, and be reminded this could work on all chart types, on all the different time intervals. It's practically endless. It's just going to take you taking everything you've learned in this educational video and utilizing that to get started. Because with enough practice and enough hard work, you are going to find that you've just made a research process that finds key volume on the chart that potentially could make your next great trade. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, watch all of our videos about volume profiles, and be sure, absolutely sure, to check out our help center for a whole lot more. Thanks for watching.